Here we go. Best of three. The God RF and Pandora. RF having one of the best starts to a year of anybody. And Pandora currently his teammate on Blastoff. You can see he's part of Rising Sun. Which I believe is helmed by Sho and K, the brothers out of Washington State. The Lightning Block Kings. But I believe Pandora is also currently playing with Blastoff in the No Tilt League Special Edition. And it's 3M for the Japanese player. Okay. Three Musketeers, two left, one right. Ice Wiz at the bridge for RF. And RF really taking his time with the elixir here. So interesting to see this minor Skelly Barrel deck with Valkyrie being mixed in these days a little bit. Not always the Mega Knight, which has been the primary final piece, but this Ice Wiz version getting around a bit faster. So Ice Wiz, Valk, and it's 3M Royal Hogs for Yersin. We'll see if that last card is a Heal Spirit or not. And King Tower activation does get pulled off. That was a dangerous one for a second with that Bomb Tower. A lot of damage in, and RF gives the well played. Commentating this one like golf, because my voice hurts from all the casting this weekend. But I'm going to stay dialed in for this one. And it's Archers as the last card, so not going to happen. No Heal Spirit. So instead of throwing in the Hunter as the other piece and then going with something smaller as the ground DPS, Pandora switching it up and going with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and Archers as the two other pieces. And RF again leaks quite a bit, trying to get his timing right. But every single elixir is going to be rough against this very heavy deck of Pandora and double. And now Pandora has gone the same way in a nice NATO and poison combination from RF. That's what you're looking for. Poison played maybe a half step low, so those musketeers still alive. And now with the pigs down, this is not working out exactly the way that RF had envisioned it. Able to avoid most of the damage from those Musketeers, but would have loved to have those three ladies off the board with that NATO poison combination. Instead, bit of trouble. NATO not in cycle, so this time it's going to poison the two. Sudden death overtime. Pandora ahead by a big chunk. RF trying to find some way to put some significant damage on, but easy ways to catch those minor skeleton barrel can't seem to get past the goblin hut and the log's been there every single time and here you go pandora can easily just push log opposite lane this is a brutal matchup for the graveyard master final 80 seconds miner goes to the number three spot just in time to see the third musketeer come right at it And, yours, and Pandora doing the right thing, forcing that poison into the right lane every time, keeping it off his weaker tower. And now RF being forced to play a lot of defense in both lanes. This EQ give him tons and heaps of trouble, but Bomb Tower Ice Wiz will prevent most of that. The Musketeer here is the big danger on the left-hand side. And now 3M high from Pandora. Miner in, Nato and Poison. Interesting play here from RF. And should take all three Musketeers off the board. Goblin Hut low for Pandora. Final 30 seconds of Sudden Death overtime. 541 right-hand lane for RF. 930 left-hand side for Pandora. Log down, 874. And now you see RF is going to go ahead and start poisoning. He knows that those 3M are not going to be as big of a deal for him. And so now he's trying to put poison and any damage he can on that left-hand side. Getting the archers off the board. Maybe get one more Miner in and back to another Poison. Maybe. Can he do it? Miner in, getting on the back of the tower. RF could steal this. If he can get a Poison in. 164 by one shot. By one shot. By one shot. What? What? 
What? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yeah. I'm glad I hit record on this one for the YouTube side because who? What? What? Guys, who's losing their mind right now? By the way, uh, if you're saying, if your big thing is CWA, notice me. Uh, this is also being streamed live for those of you watching this match just on YouTube for the VOD later. Uh, but those of you on YouTube for the streaming, CWA and Powerbang both just joined over on Madcap. So just saying, maybe go over to that side. I'll probably cut this out when I post this YouTube version of it. But yeah, go check out Madcap because your favorite people are over there hanging out in the chat. That's what's up. My voice is weird right now. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Here we go. Game number two. Man, what a finish for RF. What a finish for RF in game one. Pandora's probably losing his mind right now. Like, how did I give that up? How did I give that up? RF going minor again. Pandora maybe going Ram Rider here. Man, I cannot believe RF won that. That was insanity. That was insanity. He is so good right now. I mean, he's been good for a long time, but like the way he's playing right now, best Clash Royale of his life in 2020. So Pandora with an interesting call here on the flying machine. And since RF is probably not running Fireball, that'll work out. We've seen Flying Machine creep in a bit because Fireball's so out of style right now. Mega Knight goes all the way. So a different Royal Hogs variation out of Pandora in Game 2. Mega Knight leaps. Pig does not get on tower. And oh man, rough one for RF. Mega Knight does connect. Still ahead, though, after the first 90 seconds. 1833 left-hand side for Pandora. 2090 left-hand side for RF. And a nice defensive pickup. That was brilliant. Log comes in nice and easily timed. A couple more shots from the minor. RF still ahead. You saw that defensive minor. I mean, most of you here who are watching right now... Oh, kind of strained or low voice. Yeah, well, I'm not doing the full-on casting thing for today. After 15 hours of hardcore... Clash Royale professional casting over the weekend. Taking it a bit more easily. I I am. Yeah, come on in. This is a more chill stream. It's also This is also being saved for a YouTube video, but Mrs. Slayton is coming in. You're not on camera. Don't worry. Okay, cool. Sweet. Say what? Defense is looking good. All right. Yeah, bring me the monitor. Well, there you go. The, for the people watching the YouTube video afterwards. I was giving it the full or a, a more professional treatment, but... Duty calls occasionally when you're a husband. Here we go. Mega Knight crossing the bridge for Pandora. Poison in. Pandora with a lot on the board. Flying Machine trying to get rid of that bomb tower. Nice call for the, on the Flying Machine again, and Hogs in perfectly timed. Second bomb tower down. Man, Piggies twice into bomb towers twice. Brutal. And a good poison in from RF. Log down. Or Bar Barrel down. I'm back, guys. Don't worry. And here we go. Setting up high is Pandora. They get that Dark Alban off the board. RF needs to do his best to not give an opening here to those piggies because it could change everything. And look again, the defensive minor work for RF is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a great way to spend three elixir. And I was to make this point just before Mrs. Slayton walked in. But um, most of you who are watching this live right now probably already know this. But the difference between a good minor player and a great minor player is knowing when and how to play good defensive minors. A lot of people are just unwilling to throw Miner on their defensive side. They only want to play it offensively and get tower damage. But RF has shown two really good choices, and now three really good choices with that Miner. Look at that. This time, the Miner protecting the bomb tower from the Mega Knight so it can get more work done. 
I mean, the way he's controlling the Mega Knight is just brilliant. Really just brilliant right now. RF is playing an absolute gem. If you want to learn about defensive minor play, by the way, this, I mean, this is a great game to watch. Fly Machine gets on tower, though. Poison in. RF going to 2-0 this. Man, he is playing the best Clash Royale of his life in 2020. Absolutely insane. GG. Well played. All right, guys, on the stream, I'm going to cut the, the outro on YouTube for this little video real quick. Here we go. There you have it. That's the last match of that tournament. Of course, you can watch the whole thing uh, still on the video on demand on the YouTube channel. But if you're just here for this RF Pandora match, I'm going to feature this one and put this up on the channel here in a minute. Uh, GG well played to God RF. That was pretty much brilliant. It's about as good as you can, uh, about as good, about as well as you can play it. About as good as you can play it. About as mwah, bellissimo as you can play that one. So if you're watching this, uh, this YouTube video, go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell notifications, and I'll be back with more of this stuff. And uh, more of the God RF playing God tier. Peace.